Hi everybody, Chuck here. Um, this is kind of going backwards in time. I'm trying to give you some more specific information. And um, my disclaimer is I hope I don't mess you up if you're already doing good as I give you some dimensions. I just wanted to give a little more explanation of what I'm doing. These are the two frameworks for the track uh, torsion suspension. They go up inside the frame on the track vehicle. And on them we have the picture last time, the video with the four sets of twin bogie, bogies on each one of these rails. We already talked about this torsion suspension. This is an inch and a half square tubing, eighth inch with a one inch square tubing inside with a three eighths inch rubber cord pressed in. We've covered that multiple times. They slide on these rails and as I, as I mentioned before, every one of them will slide. And we're going to drill and pin, drill and pin. And of course, it's going to be like this. And we'll drill and pin on each side of this. The arms actually are over here. Um, i got to slide the torsions in there, the rubber things, the inside in square tubing. But I thought, just for the sake of maybe somebody's actually going to try to copy what I did, this is inch and a half square tubing. These are two and a half inches long. Again, I apologize if I mess you up. The, the fact is really, let me, let me go to cut to the chase. You may not have to do any of this if you don't want to do a suspension on your track vehicle. My old track vehicle, hidden over here, basically with all the junk around it the bogies down in there you see the see the sets of them down there they're on a just a one inch rail and the axle two the housings are just kind of welded on a straight bar and it did fine if you're gonna that application but I wanted to do something a little different so thus here we go these arms are six and a half inches long from the end, actually I gotta cut that off, that's why I gave six and a half inches to there. They're cut at an angle. I am not a machinist, but I do, uh, this was a trial and error. So I did actually get my little dealie out there, and it's a 155 degree angle that I cut on there. Again, this is an inch and a half, this is an inch and a half, this is eighth inch, this is really, one gauge lighter just because I love the weight six and a half inches long two and a half inches wide and like I said it's one and a half inch square tubing at a 55 degree angle excuse me 155 degree angle with the whole five and a quarter inches from the bottom of the tubing. This allowed me to get my bogies on and with all four sets in here I still have enough for some adjustment in here. If you made shorter arms then your track has to be tensioned out farther and I'd run out of space. I mentioned that last time. Either enlarge, excuse me, lengthen the frame or make larger arms. So I've taken that back apart because I only had one done and I thought well it's a good place to stop and show you how I did this. If you can use the information. I simply used one inch square tubing and these are inch and three quarters inch long right here and this is three quarter inch tubing and this of course I wanted to show you how I made them so so if anybody actually wanted to do this crazy thing they could do it you know fairly straight and um, this is how I did it put the tube in right measured it out put my little magnets here and tack welded it here tack welded it here tack welded both sides and then really put the heat to it that's find you a good weld. There we go. That's the only weld you need to look at. Don't look at any other weld on my unit. All right. 
tacked it there, and when it's tacked, and this thing still slides, and you can really put the heat to it, and you realize, you know, when you're done, that the uh, the bar is going to slide all the way out, and that's the way we want to go. So, that's how we built four. Now, torsion arm, whatever you want to call them, square tubing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here's how we did the arms. Another thing, to do the arms, I had a problem drilling straight through the holes on my drill press. I've got a pretty good drill press over there. But bits tend to wander. And my first set I did, my holes were wandering a little bit, and thus everything wasn't running straight. Well, I wanted to show you how I made this little jig here, and it's simply another piece of square tubing. Beautiful thing about square tubing is you can find square, square tubing to fit inside square tubing, right? So I made this little jig, and like I said, this is one of my shorter ones. It was six five and a quarter inches from here to here and I used my calipers and I really spent a lot of time getting my hole straight there and my hole straight there so what I did I just shoved that arm up in there took it over to the drill press drilled this pilot hole pilot hole and then I took them out and drilled a little bit bigger hole 5 16 and from there I'm actually going to do a bigger hole because I am actually going to use these and insert these this is simply half inch round tubing 5 16 inch ID I know I'm saying these things I apologize for not having any plans you might have to listen and do it all over again or maybe you don't even want to do it this way but I do want to tell you give you as much information as I can half inch five six inch, inch diameter because of course my bogey wheels are five sixteenths uh, hubs and I believe these are two and a two and a quarter about two inch they just stick out just a little bit and you got to have a little bit of distance in there to be able to span the track lugs right here you want the bogies of course running on either side and so with that little axle housing I'm calling it or some sort of spacious the bogies have to run on the outside of these cleats that's the way I did it let's go one more place and one of my things is trying to keep safe stuff straight I wanted to share this little trick how did I weld those um, torsion arms so they were at the 150 to 55 degree angle and they were straight well I found another piece of square tubing and I ran all four of my torsion arms onto the square tubing here. And then I ran a bar through my holes. All of them were straight, of course, because I took the time to make that jig. And I ran all four torsion bars on a piece of square tubing, slid them together, put a bar through them. That way I know every single one of these things is going to run straight and true. In the vehicle there's not going to be any wobble this way because you know my holes are straight and my welds are straight and these arms are absolutely perpendicular because uh, these are running perpendicular to the unit so everything maybe you're not that picky but probably nobody would know it but me I'm kind of a perfectionist in that so to all four of them slid them on a piece of square tubing which is just a little bit smaller put the rod through it and kind of held them secured them there you know tack welded all four sides and then uh, then i really put the heat to it and welded all eight of these bars i welded them and there we go all right again it's kind of going backwards from where we were the other day but um uh, It'll make more sense when I when I put this all together again with the torsion units and have them all set in there in front of you. I've actually had a picture of kind of the other video of how it was set up, done, but I thought I would back up just a little bit. I know following this is not going to be exactly easy to do, 
but it gives you ideas. That's, that's all I'm trying to do is give you an idea how I did it, and perhaps if you want to do a torsion unit, um, you'll have at least a little bit more headway than I did when I started. All right. Well, I hope that made sense. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you all. Uh, appreciate you. And God bless. Hope to see you next time. Keep an eye out for me. Bye-bye now.